Psalm 1. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of the sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in the season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall be blessed. The wicked are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Psalm 2, the second psalm. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers plot together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands in two and cast away their cords from us. And he who sits in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall laugh at them. Then he shall speak to them in his wrath and trouble them in his great wrath. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree, The Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son. This day I have begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Therefore be now wise, O ye kings, be instructed, you judges of the earth, and serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and you perish in the way, when his wrath is kindled in him but a little time. Blessed are all who put their trust in him. Psalm 3, a psalm of David, as he fled from Absalom his son. Lord, O oh, how those who trouble me have increased! Many are the ones who rise up against me. Many there are who say of my soul, There is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I have laid down and slept, and I have awakened, for the Lord has kept me. I am not afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for thou hast stricken all mine enemies on the cheek, thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs to the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. Psalm 4. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in trouble. Have mercy upon me, and hear my prayer. O sons of men, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek after a lie? But know that the Lord has set apart him who is godly for himself. The Lord hears when I call unto him. Tremble and sin not. Speak within your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy face upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their grain and their wine increased. I will lie down both in peace and in sleep. For thou, Lord, alone dost make me dwell in safety. Psalm 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord, and consider my meditation. Listen to the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto thee I will pray. My voice thou shalt hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. For thou art not a God that hast pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou dost hate all doers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy those who speak lies. 
the Lord will despise the bloody and the deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, and in thy fear I will worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness. Because of mine enemies, make thy way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness, and their throat is an open grave. They flatter with their tongue. Hold them guilty, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. But let all who put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them always shout for joy, because thou dost defend them. And let those who love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, wilt bless the righteous. With favor thou wilt circle him as with a shield. Psalm number 6. The sixth psalm. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in the heat of thy fury. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are troubled, and my soul also is exceedingly troubled. But thou, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, deliver my soul. O save me for thy mercy's sake, for in death there is no memory of thee. In the grave who shall give thee thanks? I am weary with my groaning. All the night I make my bed to swim. I water my bed with my tears, and my eye is aging because of grief. It becomes old because of all of mine enemies. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my cry. The Lord will receive my prayer. Let all mine enemies be ashamed and exceedingly troubled. Let them turn back and be ashamed in a moment. Psalm 7. O Lord my God, in thee I do put my trust. Save me from all who pursue me, and deliver me, lest he tear my soul like a lion, tearing it in pieces while there is no one to deliver. O Lord my God, if I have done this, if there is iniquity in my hands, if I have rewarded evil unto him who was at peace with me, yea, I have delivered him who is my enemy without cause, then let the enemy persecute my soul and take it. Yea, let him trample down my life upon the earth and lay my honor in the dust. But arise, O Lord, in thine anger, lift up thyself because of the rage of mine enemies, and awake for me in the judgment which thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people gather about thee. For their sakes, therefore, return thou on high, Yea, the Lord shall judge the people. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity that is in me. O let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish thou the just. For the righteous God tries the minds and hearts. My defense is from God, who saves the upright in heart. God judges the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. If he does not turn, he will wet his sword. He has bent his bow and made it ready. Yes, he has prepared for him the instruments of death. He has made his arrows against hot pursuers. Behold, he labors in pain with iniquity and has conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. He dug a pit and has fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come upon his own head. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, and I will sing praise in the name of the Lord Most High. Psalm 8. O Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings thou hast ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. When I look at thy heavens, and the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him? And what is the son of man that thou dost visit him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, 
and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou didst make him rule over the works of thy hands, and thou hast put all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, yea, and the beast of the field, and the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatever passes through the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Psalm 9. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee, and I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. When my enemies have turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause. Thou didst sit in the throne, judging right. Thou hast rebuked the heathen, thou hast destroyed the wicked. Thou hast put out their name forever and ever. O enemy, wastes have come to an end forever. And as to the cities you have destroyed, their memorial has perished with them. But the Lord, the Lord shall endure forever. He has prepared his throne for judgment. and He shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And those who know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, hast not forsaken those who seek thee. Sing praises to the Lord who dwell in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. When he who seeks for blood remembers them, he forgets not the cry of the humble. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. See my trouble from those who hate me. Thou who dost lift me up from the gates of death, so that I may show forth all thy praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion, I will rejoice in thy salvation. The heathen have sunk down in the pit that they made. In the net which they hid, their own foot is taken. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executes, and the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God, for the needy shall not always be forgotten, and the hope of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, let not man be strong, let the nations be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, so that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Psalm 10. Why dost thou stand afar off, O Lord? Why dost thou hide in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride persecutes the poor. Let them be taken in the plans that they have imagined. For the wicked boasts of his heart's desire, and blesses the covetous whom the Lord despises. The wicked, through the pride of his face, will not seek him. All his thoughts are, there is no God. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above, out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffs at them. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved. From generation to generation, I shall not be in evil. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud, and under his tongue are mischief and vanity. He sits in the hiding places of the villages, in the secret places he murders the innocent. His eyes are secretly set against the poor. He lies in wait secretly, like a lion in his den. He lies in wait to catch the poor. He catches the poor when he draws him into his net. He crouches and humbles himself so that the poor may fall by his might. And he has said in his heart, God has forgotten. He hides his face he will never see. But arise, O Lord, O God, lift up thy hand, and forget not the humble. Why does the wicked condemn God? He has said in his heart, Thou wilt not judge. Thou hast seen it, for thou beholdest mischief and spite to repay it with thy hand. The poor commits himself to thee, and thou art the helper of the fatherless. Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil one, and seek out his wickedness until thou dost find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The heathen have perished out of his land. Lord, thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou wilt prepare their hearts.
Thou wilt cause thy ear to hear, to judge the fatherless and the oppressed, so that the man of earth may no more terrify. Psalm 11. I put my trust in the Lord. How can you say to me, flee like a bird to the mountains? For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the string, so that they may secretly shoot at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. The Lord tries the righteous, but his soul hates the wicked. And the one who loves violence, upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and a horrible tempest shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Lord loves righteousness. His face looks upon the upright. Psalm 12. Help, Lord, for the godly man ceases, for the faithful fail from among the children of men. They speak vanity each one with his neighbor. With flattering lips and with a double heart they speak. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaks proud things, that has said, With our tongue we shall do much. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor and for the sign of the needy, I will now arise, saith the Lord. I will set in safety him at whom they puff. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when evil is praised by the Son of Men. Psalm 13. How long wilt thou forget me, O Lord, forever? How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my heart, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall my enemy be lifted up over me? Look upon me and hear, O Lord my God, enlighten mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemy say, I have overcome him. And lest those who trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord, because he has dealt bountifully with me. Psalm 14, a psalm of David to the chief musician. Psalm 14. The fool hath said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt, they have done abominable works. There is none who does good. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any who understood and sought God. They have all gone aside. They have all together become filthy. There is none who does good, no, not one. Do all the workers of iniquity have no knowledge? Those who are eating up my people act as if they have eaten bread and do not call upon the name of the Lord. There they were in great fear, for God is in the generation of the righteous. You have shamed the counsel of the poor, because the Lord is his refuge. Oh, that the salvation of Israel had come out of Zion. When the Lord brings back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Psalm 15. Lord, who shall dwell in thy tabernacle, who shall dwell in thy holy hill, he who walks uprightly and works righteousness speaks the truth in his heart, who does not backbite with his tongue, nor do evil to his neighbor, nor take up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes the reprobate is despised, but he honors those who fear the Lord. He has sworn to suffer loss and does not change. He has not put out his money at interest, nor has he taken a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall not be moved forever. Psalm 16. Psalm 16. Another psalm written by David, the psalm singer. Watch over me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. I have said unto the Lord, Thou art my God. I have no goodness but in thee. 
As to the saints who are in the earth, they are the excellent in whom is all thy delight. The sorrows of those who hasten after another god shall be multiplied. Their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou dost uphold my lot. The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a beautiful inheritance. I will bless the Lord who has given me wisdom. My heart also instructs me in the night season. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. Therefore I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my soul rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou allow thy Holy One to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the ways of life, and in thy presence is a fullness of joy. At thy right hand are pleasures forevermore. This next psalm, Psalm 17, is a prayer of David. Hear the right, O Lord, and listen to my cry. Give ear unto my prayer from lips without deceit. Let my sentence come forth from thy presence. Let thy eyes behold the things that are right. Thou hast proved my heart. Thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me, and shalt find nothing. My mouth does not go beyond my thoughts. Concerning the works of men, by the words of thy lips, I am kept from the paths of the destroyer. Hold up my steps, Lord, in thy paths, so that my footsteps do not slip. I have called upon thee, for thou wilt hear me, O God. Bow down thy ear unto me, and hear my speech. Show thy marvelous loving kindness. O thou who dost save those who put their trust in thee, be thou right, my right hand from those who rise up against me. Keep me as the apple of thine eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. From the wicked who stripped me, my deadly enemies go all around me. They are enclosed in their own fat and their mouth they speak proudly. Our steps have now hemmed in. They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth. Like a lion who is greedy for his prey, and like a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, and disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked by thy sword. From men by thy hand, O Lord from men of the world whose portion is in this life, and whose belly thou dost fill with thy treasure. They are full of children, and leave the rest of their riches to their babes. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness, and when I awake, I shall be satisfied with thy image. We continue reading now Psalm 18. This is a psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, who spoke to the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord delivered him from the hand of all of his enemies, particularly from the hand of Saul. I love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler, the horn of my salvation, my high tower. I will call upon the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised so shall I be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death hemmed me in, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell were all around me, and the snares of death were in front of me. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and I cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled, and the foundations of the hills moved, and were shaken, because God was angry. And there went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth devoured coals, and they were kindled by it. He also bowed the heavens, and came down, and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub, and did fly, yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind, he made darkness his secret place. 
His tabernacle around him was of the dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness before him, hailstones and coals of fire passed through his thick clouds. The Lord thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave forth his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them. He shot out lightnings and crushed them. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were uncovered at thy rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils. He sent from above, and he took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, and from those who hated me, for they were too strong for me. They went before me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, he has repaid me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him, and I kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore the Lord has returned to me according to my righteousness, and according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyes. With the merciful thou wilt show thyself merciful. With the upright man thou wilt show thyself upright. And with the pure thou wilt show thyself pure. With the perverse thou wilt show thyself perverse. For thou wilt save the afflicted people, but wilt bring down high looks. For thou wilt light my candle. The Lord my God will make my darkness light. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God I have leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect, and the word of the Lord is tried. He is a shield to all those who trust in him. For who is God besides Jehovah? Or who is a rock except God? The God who girds me with strength and makes my feet perfect, he makes my feet like hinds' feet and sets me upon high places. He teaches my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is bent by my arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand has held me up, and thy gentleness has made me great. Thou hast given a wide place for my steps under me, so that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them, Neither did I turn again until they were destroyed. I have wounded them so that they were not able to rise. They have fallen under my feet, for thou hast girded me with strength for the battle. Thou hast humbled under me those who rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the neck of mine enemies, so that I might destroy those who hate me. They cried, but there was none to save even unto the Lord, but he did not answer them. Then I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I cast them out like the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people. Thou hast made me the head of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall bow down to me, Strangers shall fade away, and be afraid out of their strongholds. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be praised. It is God who avenges me and humbles the people under me. He delivers me from mine enemies. Yea, thou dost lift me up above those who rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man, Therefore I will give thanks to thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. He gives great deliverance unto his king, and shows mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed forever. The nineteenth psalm, another psalm of David. David the sweet psalm singer. The heavens declare the glory of God. The expanse shows his handiwork. 
Day to day pours forth speech. Night to night reveals knowledge. There's no speech nor language when their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out throughout all the earth, their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tabernacle for the sun, which comes forth like a bridegroom leaving his chamber, and which rejoices as a strong man to run a race. Its going forth is from the ends of the heavens, and its course is to their ends and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making the simple wise. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart, and the commandment of the Lord is pure, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever, and the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. They are more to be desired than gold, even much fine gold. They are sweeter also than honey, and the honeycomb. Moreover, thy servant is warned by them. In keeping them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors, or make me pure from secret faults, and keep thy servant back from willful sins? Do not let them rule over me, then I shall be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgressions. And let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be pleasing in thy sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Psalm 20. May the Lord hear you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you and send you help from the sanctuary, and uphold you out of Zion, and remember all your offerings, and accept your burnt sacrifice. May the Lord grant you according to your own heart, and fulfill all your plans. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of our God we will set up banners. May the Lord fulfill all your prayers. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven. With the saving strength of his right hand, some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and we stand upright. Save, Lord, let the King hear us when we call. Save, O Lord, let the King hear us when we call. Psalm 21. The king shall rejoice in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation how greatly shall he rejoice. Thou hast given him his heart's desire, and hast not withheld the prayer of his lips. For thou dost go before him with the blessings of goodness. Thou dost set a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked life from thee, and thou didst give it to him. Length of days forever and ever. His glory is great in thy salvation. Honor and majesty thou hast laid upon him. For thou hast made him most blessed forever. Thou hast made him exceeding glad with thy holy face. For the king trusts in the Lord. And through the mercy of the Most High he shall not be moved. Thy hand shall find out all thine enemies, and thy right hand shall find out those who hate thee. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thy anger. The Lord will swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shalt thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee. They imagined a wicked thing which they are not able to do. For thou shalt make them turn their back, and thou shalt make ready thy arrows upon thy strings against their face. Be thou exalted, Lord, in thy own strength. So we will sing and praise thy power. Another Psalm of David, Psalm 22. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And art far from my help at the words of my cry. O oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not, in the nighttime, and am not silent. 
But thou art holy, O thou who art enthroned on the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted, and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee, and were delivered. They trusted in thee, and were not ashamed. But I am a worm, and no man, a reproach of men, and despised by all the people. All who see me laugh me to scorn, they shoot out the lip, they shake the head, saying, He trusted in the Lord, that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him, since he delighted in him. For thou art he who took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast. I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thou art my God from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have circled around me, strong bulls of Bashan have hemmed me in all around. They opened wide their mouths upon me like a ripping and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it is melted in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up like a piece of pottery, and my tongue clings to my jaws, and thou hast brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have circled around me, and the gathering of the wicked have hemmed me in. They pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones, they look and stare at me. They divide my garments among them, and cast lots for my clothing. But do not be far from me, O Lord, O my strength, hurry to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the wild oxen. I will declare thy name to my brothers in the midst of the congregation, I will praise thee. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All of you, the seed of Jacob, glorify him, and fear him, all of you, the seed of Israel, for he has not despised nor hated the affliction of the afflicted, neither has he hidden his face from him. But when he cried unto him, he heard, My praise shall be of thee in the great congregation, and I will pay my vows before them who fear him. The weak shall eat and be satisfied, and those who seek the Lord shall praise him. Your heart shall live forever. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall worship before thee, for the kingdom is the Lord's, and he is the ruler among the nations. All those who are fat upon the earth shall eat and worship, and all those who go down to the dust shall bow before him. And none can keep alive his own soul. A seed shall serve him. It shall be spoken of the Lord to the coming generation. They shall come and shall declare his righteousness to a people that shall be born, that he has done this. Probably one of the most popular and well-known of all of the Psalms, a Psalm of David, sometimes called the Shepherd's Psalm, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table for me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 24, Psalm of David. The 24th Psalm. The earth is the Lord's in the fullness of it, and the world and those who dwell in it. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall go up into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, 
who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity and has not sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of those who seek him, who seek thy face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Psalm 25. Unto thee, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Do not let me be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Yet let none who wait upon thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed who sin without a cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me into thy truth. And teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee I wait all the day long. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindnesses, for they have been forever and ever. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my rebellings. According to thy mercy, remember me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore he will teach sinners in the way. The meek he will guide in judgment, and the meek he will teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. What man is he who fears the Lord? He shall teach him in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn unto me and have mercy upon me, for I am wasted and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. O oh, bring me out of my distresses. Look upon my affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are many. And they hate me with cruel hatred. O oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. Let purity and uprightness keep me, for I wait upon thee. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all of his troubles. Psalm 26. We're reading from the book of the Psalms on this, our family Bible reading fellowship. The Psalms, which are the poetry, the hymns from the hearts of God's people through the centuries. They speak to our hearts even as they reveal the hearts of those who wrote these hymns under the Spirit of God. Psalm 26. Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in my truthfulness. I have trusted also in the Lord. I shall not slide. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. And try my heart and my mind, for thy loving kindness is before my eyes. I have walked in thy truth. I have not sat with lying men, neither will I go in with hypocrites. I have hated the congregation of evildoers. I will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocency, and so I will go around thy altar, O Lord, so that I may cry out with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wonderful works. Lord, I have loved the dwelling place of thy house and the place where thy honor dwells. Do not take away my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men, in whose hands is mischief, and in their right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in my truthfulness. Redeem me and be merciful unto me. My foot stands in an even place, and the congregations I will bless in the Lord. Psalm 27, another psalm of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? 
The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an army should camp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, I still will have faith. One thing I have desired from the Lord, and that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to pray in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his tabernacle, in the secret of his tabernacle he shall hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock, and now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, and have mercy upon me, and answer me. My heart says unto thee, Seek my face. Thy face, O Lord, I will seek. Hide not thy face from me. Turn not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not over to the will of my enemies, for false witnesses have risen up against me, he that breathes out cruelty. I would have fainted unless I believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, and be of good courage, and he shall make your heart strong. Wait I say on the Lord. Psalm 28, a psalm of David. I will cry unto thee, O Lord, my rock, do not be deaf unto me, lest if thou be silent unto me, I become like those who go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my prayers when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy place. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, who speak peace to their hearts, yet evil is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their practices. Give them according to the work of their hands. Give them what they deserve, because they do not pay attention to the works of the Lord, nor the works of his hands. Therefore he shall destroy them and never build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he has heard the voice of my prayers. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song I will praise him. The Lord is a strength unto them, and he is a saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 29. The twenty-ninth psalm. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters, and the glory of God thunders. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He also makes them to skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord goes through flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the hinds to calve and uncovers the forests. And in his temple everyone speaks of his glory. The Lord sits upon the flood, yea, the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Psalm 30. This 30th psalm was a psalm and a hymn sung at the dedication of the house of David. Psalm 30. I will praise thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. 
O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, so that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the memory of his holiness. For his anger is only a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And in my blessedness I said I shall never be moved. Lord, by thy favor thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face, and I was troubled. I cried unto thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I sought with prayer. What profit is in my blood when I go down into the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it tell of thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned my mourning into dancing for me. Thou hast torn off my sackcloth, and hast clothed me with gladness, so that my glory may sing praise unto thee, and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever.